Uh, hello everybody. Um, this is a um, beginning uh, tutorial how to download and configure BuildRuth for the first time for the Raspberry Pi 3. It's an uh, initial um, beginner's video. A friend asked me to do um, such kind of video. Um, so we want to start from the BuildRuth and download the BuildRuth, the latest one. So the latest one for today is uh, 2017.05. Um, we can just uh, select uh, or press to download it, but because I'm using uh, Windows to Linux uh, terminal in order to record it, so I will um, copy the link and use wget. to download once I download it I want to extract it okay extract it and then let's go to build root from here it's very easy so let's see all the configuration that build root already have um, and you have quite a few. Um, this is all the boards, and what we want is the Raspberry Pi. So we do config Raspberry Pi, and for Raspberry Pi, we have several. We have the Raspberry Pi 0, 2, uh, 364, and 32-bit. This is the 32-bit version, this is the 64 version. So we can take any any one of those. The way we do it, we just type um, make and the name of the configuration file without the config. And what he's doing is copying the configuration to a file in this directory called dot config. So here, what we need to do, we can select all the make uh, menu config. This is the known encourses GUI. And we can select it here. I like to use the make X config, which is uh, a putty version, QT4, QT4 version of uh, the configuration. And it's a very nice GUI. And we can see it here. So without touching anything, we can just go and um, we don't even need to open it. So what, what we need to do, we, we can save it and go to our uh, terminal and press make, wait for a couple of two hours and the image will be ready. Uh, I will show you the image uh, right away, but let's do go to the uh, configuration and go over a little bit as um, initial steps. So what, what we have, BuildRoot is building for us an image including the kernel, boot files, and root file systems, everything we need. And he has a lot, a lot of packages, uh, around 2,000 packages, I don't know, um, starting from the um, target option. As we see here, uh, we selected the, the Raspberry Pi 64 compiler, so we have um, the uh, configuration for Little Indian uh, ARC64 and this is the Cortex-A53 if you, re you open the internet and see that the, the Broadcom chip is Cortex-A53 and it's v, um, uh, VFPV4 um, design um, the build option is something that you do want to change because the download deer is at uh, this top level directory the um, what usually doing you just change it to a place that is a common place because um, uh, in case you want to um, make clean and compile it will save you time because it doesn't need 
to download again and again it's called because bitroot is downloading the packages open them compile them extract and do whatever you need to do in order to prepare the image so we save the time um, the save configuration um, this is the default one we can change it for example uh, to our okay let's call it mine mine def config okay we don't want to uh, destroy the original and if we want to save this configuration let me show you we can uh, let's open another window We can do make save def config. Make save def config will save the configuration in the config our configuration. Taking some time. And config. And we can see in ls config we'll see Raspberry Pi 64 mine config. Okay. So this is this option. Um, compile of cache, it's some kind of um, um, optimization the compiler in order to um, not, when you rebuild, you can save it, but eventually what I read that um, if you want to change packages and you do too much changes, you need to make clean. There is, I, I don't know about any way currently that you can um, change packages and add and remove without do main clean. Um, this is a top level but very short. Um, the toolchain, toolchain is very important. There are three toolchain. You have the build -to toolchain, which build to download the toolchain compiled using CrossNG tool, and um, it's this. This takes a lot of time. You can select the UCLipsy or GCLipsy um, libraries, and this is the configuration of the uh, compiler. You can select external compiler, which is already what Bitroot is doing is just downloading a uh, compiler from the internet if it's linear or code sorcery, and it's just download it and extract it. It doesn't compile it. Uh, there's another option that you are using. You can download the uh, and cross tool and G by yourself compile uh, a compiler by the way the build roof have already um, configuration in the cross tool and G so you can you can download the cross tool and G and create configuration that is already ready for you and you can tell build root to use the path in the this will be the path of the compiler and this, this will be the prefix of the compilers compilers uh, the kernel, as we can see for the Raspberry Pi, um, the kernel is being downloaded from the GitHub repository of the Raspberry Pi. What's um, uh, okay? Uh, Raspberry Pi using a device blob, and this is the um, uh, device blob for the Raspberry Pi. And the def config, this is very important, the BRCM R uh, PI3, this is the kernel configuration which Bitroot send to the when Bitroot compile the kernel, just uh, tell him this is this is the configuration I want because the kernel already um, have this configuration and this is how Bitroot tell the kernel how which configuration it wants to compile with. Okay, um, there is a lot of um, uh, uh, libraries here for Qt, for uh, X window. Um, I did some advanced video about it. And we have text editors. And we can we can install even um, uh, JavaScript if it's Angular JS, Bootstrap. We can install Node.js here. Um, uh, MySQL, uh, many packages. Um, okay, bootloader. As we can see, um, 
the Raspberry Pi uses the um, video core for a bootloader, so it doesn't use any of the bootloader here, not the U-boot, not anything else, because the video core inside the Botcom chip is a bootloader by itself and is loading the kernel, so um, the bootloader section is empty, but for example, if you see the bigger bone, the bigger bone will be uh, will will be using the U boot uh, bootloader, and so it's also it's good to to learn about the bigger bone because the bigger bone have some feature that the Raspberry Pi from the learning point of view, and uh, the understanding of Linux it doesn't have. The file system, file system here you can select the file system if you. Uh, remember there are several uh, file system and, and this is a section that uh, should be learned uh, as a course by itself but um, the default for SD card today is x 4 and there is also journaling uh, file system for NAND it's a GFFS2 for example for NAND journaling file system there is YFFS2, which I didn't try, and also UBS, uh, UBIFS should be advanced above the GFFS2 file system, and those file systems uh, are for um, basically for no, no and none uh, flashes, and this is most of it for uh, SD card. Um, this is the sizing block. You see the default sizing block for the 64 is uh, 120k but once you install more packages you add Qt, you add uh, I don't know, JSON, uh, JavaScript, whatever you add this one should be increased for example you can put it 33 um, because uh, and build will inform you that he exceeded the size of number of blocks and you just um, uh, increase the size Um, okay. What what else? I al always um, installing Dropper. Dropper is a, a lightweight uh, SSH uh, server, and once it's installed, build it already um, uh, install it and run it. So we we don't need to run it by ourselves. Um, okay. Probably I forget many many things, but this is for now. So we can save. Okay, we add a little bit, uh, so something, and we can exit, and then we can type make. And this this one will take us a lot a lot of time. So it can take a, a, about two hours if you if you install Qt take me like five or six hours so once it's done I have um, a, an image ready here so once it's done you will see the result um, okay you see the result here but I'm sorry about it I don't have currently the image, but what you will see, you will see a file called sdcard.image right here. sdcard.image in the in the output images. Okay, because this is a video that I, I created for the root file system only. I have another video, but once the make file, the make will complete, you will see an sdcard.img right here so what you need to do you need to just burn this file to the SD card so you take an SD card reader put it on your Ubuntu machine and one way there are several ways one way is to use itcher this is I'm using this one and this is a very nice tool it's working um, 64 uh, Windows uh, Mac uh, of course Linux 64 32-bit 
so you download it in very very simple you select the image okay you select the image and you select the drive and you do flash and what it will do it will do it will format um, according to the image format and prepare the image card and also um, will flash it and by the way it will not um, let you choose your uh, main SDA drive it will protect you unless you are in safe mode um, you don't need to uh, to create partition by yourself because the each year read the SD card and according to the to do the image there it, it's create the partition and burn the partition and once it's finish the flashing you can take out the SD card from the from the card reader and put it inside the Raspberry Pi and hopefully it should work um, that's it this is my tutorial about the first um, initiating build root with uh, Raspberry Pi 3 and there is a lot of thing to say for example if it's 32 or 64 there are problems in the way but hopefully that this um, road will take you to the initial uh, bring up of your uh, Raspberry Pi with build root so thank you very much and bye bye